It's typically less expensive than investment casting. Uh, it's rubber plaster mold, and it's a process similar to investment casting. For casting, very high tolerance. Uh, plus or minus 15 is basically where things start. It's one of the least expensive tooling options in the industry. Hi, my name is Bart. I'm with AL Johnson Company. We produce aluminum castings using the RPM process. Uh, it's rubber plaster mold, and it's a process similar to investment casting to produce aluminum and zinc parts in low volume production runs. We produce rubber tools uh, to make plaster molds and then pour aluminum into those plaster molds. So there's a plaster that's disposed with every part. Aerospace and medical industry are our primary customers. Uh, they're designing high dollar value products that are going to be in production for a long period of time and not have high volumes that would justify a more expensive tooling process. Uh, these are some castings that we've produced. Process is very good with capturing fine detail. Uh, also undercuts. Uh, we like undercuts in our process. Uh, one of the things we say with the rubber plaster mold process is throw away the rule book for castings. Uh, we don't need draft. We like undercuts in parts, fine detail. Uh, so more complicated parts are typically better suited to this process. Uh, so the more setups you might have on a machine part or another casting where you're casting excess metal and coming in to remove that, uh, very efficient in this process. So we have internal undercuts on this piece. We also have some external undercuts and we've used cores to create these undercuts on the outside surface. Uh, this part shows uh, the detail that we can capture with the process. Uh, this customer was hogging this part out of a billet. Um, lots of fine detail that we can capture in the casting. One thing with all casting processes, features are basically free, so capturing all this detail inside there saved this customer a ton of money on a part like this. Prototypes and production from the same low-cost tooling is one of our slogans. Uh, so we build one epoxy tool. It's only a prototype tool if it only makes prototype parts. It's a production tool if it makes production parts, but the, the tool's not going to be built any different. Beautiful thing about the RPM process, uh, again, with that throw away the rule book for castings, by not having draft in a part, uh, you can design a part as a hog out, and it easily converts to this process. Uh, you don't have to put draft on all your features. Uh, vertical walls, just fine. Uh, that, that, that's A-OK -okay in this process. Uh, 25 pounds of aluminum is about the biggest part we can do. X, Y, and Z is a variable. It's going to be based on the longer a part gets in one direction, it has to shrink in other directions. And it's material handling on the amount of plaster that we can move. L. Johnson Company has been producing RPM parts for over 50 years. Uh, the company was founded by a guy named Albert Lloyd Johnson, uh, and he's the first guy, at least to my knowledge, that has done this process in this form. Low volume, long-term production, prototyping, complicated parts, high metal integrity. I want to make one part, I want to make five parts, ten parts, fifty parts, a hundred parts. See us and other quality suppliers at d2p.com. Mm -hmm.